Hey guys, so if you follow my blog, you'll know that I'm heading to New York tomorrow morning with my dad and we're just going to walk around and eat some good food and I'm so excited but it's going to be freezing so I wanted to go through some of the things that I've packed and give you a little tip, few tips um, to stick to if you're packing for an overnight trip so you won't overpack like I usually do. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is just very basic and it's just this thermal long sleeve t-shirt and this is by Club Monaco and this is actually from the men's section um, this is just a really great basic it's very thin but it's super warm so I'm gonna wear this under a big chunky sweater and it'll definitely keep me warm when I'm walking around New York the next thing I want to show you is this big chunky sweater like I just mentioned and this is from I think from the Goodwill um, it was made by hand and it's really soft it's in this like sage green color you'll see that a lot of the things that I'm bringing all of the things that I'm bringing are kind of in the neutral um, family and these are just it's just going to enable me to make a lot of outfits but not pack a lot and be ready for a lot of situations so I'm bringing this big chunky sweater and it's really thick it has this like nice neckline this detailing down the front it's just warm and cozy and I like to roll up the sleeves and when I wear my thermal under I'm gonna roll them up together and create like a nice little cuff so this will definitely keep me warm the next thing I'm bringing just another layer is this blazer and this is actually also from the Salvation Army I think um, this is just like a boyfriend style blazer. I think it was like six dollars. Um, it's just in this like brown weave if you can see it and it's really soft actually and um, it just goes with a lot and it's going to look really great layered over the sweater or whatever else I bring with a big scarf under coat. So I'm excited about that. I might put that on so I can show you guys. So as you can see, just a boyfriend style blazer. Um, sometimes I like to do the color like this. It's just very cool, but it's also another layer when I'm walking around New York. The next thing I want to show you is something that I bought new for the trip from where I'm interning Arcadia. And this is by Skunk Funk. And it's just a scarf, but it's interesting because it has this turtleneck detail. I'll show you. So you slip the turtleneck over your head, and then you have these long pieces which you could wrap around so it just keeps your neck warm but it also it's very chic and again in a neutral tone so it's going to go with a lot of stuff so I was really excited for this scarf and I can't wait because I know it's going to keep my neck warm next is shoes um, I'm going to be bringing my um, Clark's Desert Boots and these are, I'm only bringing one other pair of shoes, but I'm going to be wearing these during the day and walking around in them. Again, they're brown leather. They just have like these laces and then they have the gum sole. And these are just super comfortable. They're kind of unique. Um, I love when girls wear these. I kind of think it's really cool to see a girl wearing such masculine shoes. And they just go with a lot. They look great with tights and dresses. They look great with jeans, with cargo pants. I love these. So um, these were $89, and they're from um, Benjamin Lovell in Philadelphia. But you can find them in a lot of places. I think Nordstrom carries them. Um, J. Crew has a um, kind of their own spin on it. Um, so these are just really great, and they're super soft. They just get better looking the more you wear them. So. The next thing that I'm bringing, some of you have probably already heard of, and these are my Swedish husbands, which I'm obsessed with. These are the clogs. They have a wooden heel. They're again this like sage color. And I got these for my internship. They're super comfortable. They're soft. I'm going to wear these out to a nice steak dinner with my dad. And it's going to give me a little extra height, but I don't think I'm going to look too overdressed because sometimes I feel silly when I'm wearing like sky high heels in New York and everyone's wearing boots or flats so these are amazing and I plan on wearing them with these and these are just thick heather socks and they look really great scrunched down with a pair of tights or over jeans and it kind of adds warmth to your outfit and adds a little bit of style as well I'm also going to be bringing what else just one more basic piece um, this is just a white button down. I think I got this at the Salvation Army as well. It's pretty thin but layered with a t-shirt under it, with a sweater over it, and with a blazer and a coat on top of that with a scarf. 
it's going to be very warm and it'll look super cute with the collar peeking out of the sweater. Um, a white basic button down is just a great thing for everyone to have in their wardrobe. So um, as you can see, you could find them for any price and it'll really go far in every single month. So this is just great to bring for any kind of overnight trip because um, it goes great for any situation. Dinner, you know, walking around a museum, um, going to, for dinner with someone's parents, you know, whatever seems whatever you get yourself into now the last few things I want to go through are just some of the makeup essentials I'm bringing um, I'm not going to be doing too much makeup I don't like wearing a lot of makeup when I'm walking around the city because I feel like my pores get like clogged so um, I just brought a few things and these are things that I wear almost every day if you follow my blog you'll also see that I'm raving about this Neutrogena skin clearing makeup which I'm obsessed with um, it's oil free, it has salicylic acid, and it feels so light. I'm wearing it right now. I just apply it with a sponge. You could do two coats of it, um, and it really covers, but it also feels light. You could wear it all day, and your skin actually looks better when you take it off, and that is why I'm obsessed with this. And I like to set it with just this um, mineral powder finishing veil by Maybelline. I haven't really found a translucent powder that I love, but... Um, this one is nice. It goes well on top of the foundation and it just provides um, so that you're not shiny. But I hate loose powder, but I don't really like pressed powders either. So this kind of always makes a mess, but I bring it anyway because I hate being shiny. So the next thing is just if you want to jazz it up for a night out, I'm just bringing one little palette for smoky eye. This is the L'Oreal Smoky Eye Palette for green or hazel eyes and I have brown eyes, but I like these colors better. They kind of go with the clothing that I'm going to be bringing, browns and greens and tans. And it has four colors, one for your whole um, lid, one just for here, one for contouring, and one to add smokiness. So this is great. It's kind of an all-in-one to bring. It won't, you know, get broken or it's not all these different colors floating around your makeup bag and it just won't add a lot of bulk to your packing so this is really great any palette um, I have a nice palette that I created by Laura Mercier any palette is great for a weekend because you could put all your colors in and you're not carrying a lot of stuff and I'm gonna apply them with the last thing that I'll be bringing and that is just this double-sided makeup brush and this is from Sally's Beauty and one brush is just fluffy on one side so that's great for your light color for your eyelid color and one side is more kind of cone shaped so that's great to add a little smokiness um, kind of to smoke yourself out add a little depth to your eyeshadow this would be probably used for the darkest brown color so that's really it for my New York City packing list and I'll hopefully take some great pictures of food and street style and I'm so excited so um, hopefully I'll have some great stories for you guys when I get back. Thanks. Bye.